I'm gonna break down how I created my submission for the Kinetic Rush Community Challenge. Oh, and did I mention I had six days to do it? Yeah. Initially, I started making a completely different idea from what I ended up with, which is a tourist running through a night market and stopping abruptly to pick up some food. The thought was that stopping would stand out in a challenge centered around running. But after three days of working on it, I realized that there's no way I'm gonna be able to make this look good in the time I have. So I scrapped the idea and came up with a brand new one, which is a photographer running through a forest while getting chased by a subject, a bear. In my opinion, this new idea has a better story and is a lot easier to execute. But that only leaves me three days and a couple of evenings to make this. So first, I'll scope the terrain. I want the scene to play up a bit higher up on a mountain, so I'll make the back part slope down a bit. Then I'll add in a path and scatter some grass. The important thing here is to use lots of different grass types to make it look natural, as well as child particles to get to a large number of grass strands while keeping the performance manageable. Next, I'm also gonna make a material for the landscape by mixing multiple different dirt and ground textures to reduce repetition. Then for the forest itself, I spawn some large, medium and small coniferous trees from Treezy. By the way, if you like the trees, I have a link to Treezy in the description. After that, I'll just scatter them where the camera can see, as well as some more in the background to make it look like the forest is getting denser in the distance. For the lighting, I just played around with the height and rotation of the sun until I had a good mix between darkness and the forest to have the character contrast against, as well as the trees and character catching a bit of light. This alone wasn't enough, so I placed a huge area lamp with a warm color behind the character to give him some edge light. I only wanted to affect the character, so to do that, I'll just use light. Linking. All of this does still feel a bit fake, so to fix that I'll add some volumetrics over the whole thing, increasing the anisotropy a bit to get those sweet sweet god rays. The ground feels a bit too monotone at the moment as well, so let's add some more rocks, sticks, flowers, mushrooms, tree stumps and dead trees, as well as some moss available on my gumroad to the scene. During the challenge we were able to choose between six animations and I chose the vault. The reason being that I want the character to jump over a fallen tree. So with the animation decided, I'm gonna add a 3D scan of a dead tree off of Sketchfab, as well as a medium sized tree trunk that I'll tweak to make it look like the tree didn't break off fully. I'll also make the tree fall down as soon as the character leans on it to add a bit more movement and change to the animation. For the character themselves, I'm gonna use Charmov, which is just a fog of Ambulab, to add in this man here. I currently suck at sculpting, so that's what I have to do. After retargeting the animation with the Rococo's retargeting plugin, the next step is his clothing. So to start, let's add a cat. The reason being that I don't want to do hair simulation. Then next, I'll model some pants and shirt and just simulate them. I have a tutorial on cloth simulation, so I won't go into details here. Only thing to note is that I used a mask modifier to hide the parts of the character that were clipping. But that looks good, so now let's add a camera as well. To do that, I'll add a picture of my actual camera strap, cut it out and place it around the character's neck. Then I'm gonna download a model of a camera, replace the lens with a more obvious one and parent the camera to the front vertices of the strap. Finally, again using cloth simulation to make the strap react to the character's movement. I also tried doing this for a second camera with a bigger lens but for some reason I just couldn't get it to work in time so one camera it is. With that the character is done. So lastly I have to create the bear. For that I again downloaded a model of Sketchfab and improved it a bit by adding some hair particles. The bear animation however wasn't that easy. I tried tracing over a side view video of a bear running. I tried animating off of references without directly tracing them. I even acted out the movements on the floor. No I did not record that but I just couldn't get it to look good. So in the end I just traced over the animation of this $370 Turbo Squid bear which uh, still didn't look great but it's the best animation yet. But with that the scene is done or I ran out of time. So after re-rendering like three times and doing some color grading I submitted nine hours before the deadline at 0.43 a.m. my time zone. So here is the final render. Thanks for watching.